Hi, my name is Ellie. I'm a long distance hiker and backpacker. And this is my rescue dog Otto. He's my sidekick and absolute best hiking partner. In March of 2024, we hiked the West Highland Way in Scotland, a 96 mile long trail that runs from Milgai to Fort William. Come along for day seven and eight, where we walked from King's House to Fort William and finished the trail. Good morning, everyone. It's day seven on the US Highland Way. Luckily, there's no rain and there was no wind during the night. So we had a really, really good sleep, although it was quite cold, I think around one or two degrees. It was better than the nights before. And yeah, now I'm going to make myself a tea and breakfast and yeah, then we set off. just left King's house about 20 minutes ago and we are on our way to the Devil's Staircase which is a climb to the highest point of the West Highland Way. I think it sits at around 550 meters if I remember correctly. Today is basically going to be a day of two halves. The first part we climb up the staircase and then one long 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 and steep descent into Kinloch Leven. Yeah, really excited. It's again a bit of a shorter day. I think it's about nine ish miles. I'm very excited. These are one of the most dramatic and atmospheric views of the entire West Highland. I'm really excited to see the mountains around Glencoe again. So let's go. view this is this is just so beautiful views like this and the moodiness and the fog and also the rain and the brownish colors that's why i love scotland so much it has just its own kind of beauty it's rugged and yeah harsh and remote but still there's something in my opinion something really really special about it look at that The house down there that's probably one of the most photographed spots in Scotland. And now we're tackling Devil's Staircase. to the top of Devil's Staircase. Oh, it's so windy! On our last bit for today, the very long and steep descent into Kinloch Leven, which is our end point for tonight. And I'm so happy to get there to go to the campsite, set up the tent, have my first shower in three days, have a real 
shop to buy some food and then just some rest and some tea and oh, that's going to be so so nice I just checked in on the campsite and look at that. This is about the worst weather you could set your tent up in. Oh, oh I hate this. Oh, it's horrible. But it probably won't stop anytime soon, so... Oh, shit, shit, I hate this. Oh. I'm really, really hungry and we just got some food from the Chinese takeaway. Look at that. Some chips and some Chinese noodles with veggies. Yay! everyone it's our last day on the West Highland Way day 8 and it looks like it's going to be a really nice and dry day there's the Sun coming up already but it was a very cold night for the first time on this trip the tent is actually frozen so yeah it's really 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 cold but we had a good night on the campsite. It was really nice meeting other hikers and yeah, just having a place to have a hot shower. And I was so tired, I didn't even film yesterday. We just went straight to bed at 7 p.m. I think. Just one big push today to get to Fort William. It's a bit of a, a bigger day with quite a bit of elevation. And I already made some breakfast, a tea and one of my coffee protein shakes that I'm going to have to yeah, fuel me for the first uh, part of today. Look at how nice the weather is and it's been a first today. I actually put sunscreen on this morning because it's so so nice and yeah, let's start this last day. Let's go! To see the horizon and the fire. Excuses were too for a penny but they've all gone out it's such a beautiful day perfect for hiking i've done this stretch twice before and it rained both times so i'm really really happy that i get to see it in beautiful weather and have all the views it's a bit of a longer day today i think it's about 25 kilometers to get into fort william and finish the trail but the trail follows an old military road so it's a bit like a cobblestone but not too bad so yeah should be okay especially since it's dry today and yeah really excited for today so let's go I almost don't want to say it but I'm still saying it is almost too warm already with all my layers and going uphill but still it's so 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 nice I honestly couldn't be happier to finish the trail in this glorious weather this is one of my absolute favorite stretches on the West Highland Way because as you can see it goes into this really remote valley so you can't hear any streets you can't see any houses nothing it's just 12 miles of yeah wilderness remoteness it's so 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 stunning Can't believe how beautiful this is.
we're about eight miles into today's hike and we're getting closer and closer to Fort William and our first site of Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in the UK. If you're wondering about what's on Otto's paw, I actually put one of his shoes on because one of his paws seemed to be getting a bit sore over the last few miles. Just as a precaution, I think he's not hurting, um, but just to be safe because as you can see, some of the rocks are a bit sharp. That will hopefully last for the next and last few miles and then we have a couple of rest days after that. Ooh, this is so stunning. Wow. We are on our way into Glen Nevis now and I would have loved getting a room in Fort William but it's all either booked up or crazy expensive or yeah no dogs allowed. So we're going to the campsite and I also made a change to our uh, plans because originally we wanted to finish the trail in Fort William uh, to today obviously and then just go back to the campsite um, by bus but Otto is not doing too great. He's limping from time to time. He still seems fine. But I just want to give him a bit of an easier day and the walk from the Claire Nevis campsite into town is another like three miles almost, two to three miles. Um, and it's like, yeah, just road walking. So yeah, I want to give him a bit of an easier day and some rest. So I think we'll stop at the campsite and then do the last bit as our morning walk tomorrow morning before we get to the train. It's a bit sad because like in my mind, I was like focused on finishing it today, having a walk around Fort William and yeah, just having drinks or something. But if you're hiking with a dog, there are just things that are out of your control and I always try my best and doing everything to meet Otto's needs and yeah, I can see that he's starting to struggle and I don't want to track him for three miles. It feels like the best option for us and yeah, we still get to see the finish marker uh, tomorrow morning. This is home for tonight and look at the view. That's Ben Nevis up there. This is the perfect Friday night for me. A beer, some noodles and a view. This is so, so, so nice. I've washed all my clothes, I've showered. I feel so fresh now and yeah, just perfect. If you would rate the tray, like if, if you would give an overall rating, like with uh -huh. accommodation, infrastructure, yeah. views, like basically everything, yeah. what would you rate it? Uh, it's it's going to be an 8 or a 9. Like Out of 10? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a hike that I've never done anything like it before. Um, so it, it was just a much, like, it's just very different to how, what, what I've normally done in terms of hiking. And that, that made for like a much, a really nice change. Mm. You know, there, there, there's a good amount of remoteness versus, yeah. you know, you come across a, a, a town and, and have places to buy that. At, at no point was I worried that we would run out of food yeah. or that I had to like really stock up at one place because we wouldn't get anything. And what was your favorite bit? Like, is there a stretch favorite that like bit. really stands out? The most memorable bit was getting to the King's House Hotel when we were going through the snow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That was quite, that, that felt quite special. So silent and there's literally no one around. Um, and every now and then I'd look back and I'd just see you and Otto just bobbing <laughs> along. Getting into Binglass. Binglass? Yeah. Campsite. That, 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 that was a day that, that will live in my memory. Cause that, that reminded me because a lot Because it was more. all like, because it was quite tough. Like yeah, it was yeah, in yeah. the end. It, yeah. it was definitely the hardest day. Yeah. Um, and it went on and on and on. And what about you? Um, I think it's the time doing it. 
like I think the last day, like yesterday coming from King Loch Leven, is still my favorite day. Mm -hmm. I don't know, there's just something so special about it that you're just in the mountains and see nothing, no streets, mm -hmm. no roads, no houses. And I also like the stretch from Tindrum to Inderoran, where mm -hmm. it like slowly opens up and you see these like vast landscapes. Yeah where you really feel like you're getting into the highlands. It's, it's a good hike for someone who's like, done a few day hikes or maybe like an overnight hike um, and, want, and, they, and they want to like push the boundaries out a little bit more um, because you know the, the, it, it, if you decide it's too much for you there are plenty of places yeah. that you can call it quits and yeah. go back into town and, and get out of there but it's it's hard enough that it will stretch you at points, but it also has a lot of a lot simpler, like like yesterday, yeah. where it's just, yeah. there's a lot of just very, oh, very easier views, but yeah. it's easier easy walking. Yeah. And look at that perfect timing. Perfect I think we'll timing. see the marker in just a few meters. It was so nice doing this with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The original end of the West Highland Way, but I can really see where they moved it, like yeah. into the <laughs> like bit. it's random. <laughs> We are just walking into Fort William and we've just did these last remaining three miles of the West Highland Way and we are going to finish it in a couple of minutes which is really really exciting. Whoop, whoop. The West Highland Yay. Way. Yay! I just got a coffee and now we are on our way to the train station and taking the train back to Milgai to my car. And I'm really excited to see a bit of the highlands again from the window of the train and yeah, just sitting there resting a bit, having a little break, having a coffee. And this is it. We're back in Milgai, back in our car where it all started eight days ago. We had such a nice time on the West Highland Way. It wasn't always easy and was probably a bit harder than expected with the weather being quite wintry. But yeah, it's still a beautiful trail. I'm so happy that I got to see it all again. Thank you so much for coming along and following our adventure. I hope you've liked the videos and yeah, let me know if you've done the West Highland Way before or if you would consider doing it. And yeah, just let me know what you think. Otto and I are now getting ready for a little road trip. We're going to buy some supplies and get water. And then we're off to our next trail, the African Tailway. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!